The sensor cables must be installed and the solar controller must be switched on before any tubes are fitted. The system must also be filled with water before installing any tubes. If possible, carry the boxes of tubes onto the roof in preparation for installation or pass the tubes up one by one. Please observe all safety rules when doing this. The tubes should not be left sitting exposed to sunlight as the bulb of the heat pipe will become hot very quickly. Place your hand around the end of the tube in order to keep the metal top plate and spring in place. Pull each heat pipe out of the tube by 150 to 300 millimeters. Seal a short piece of insulation at the base to create a reusable heat paste applicator. Squirt a small amount of heat paste into the insulation applicator and use it to coat the bulb of each heat pipe. Only a thin layer of heat paste is required to improve the heat conductivity. Lubricate the outer rim of the tube with soapy water. Be careful not to spray water inside the tube. Remove the tubes from the box one at a time. The copper powder should be at the base of the heat pipe to make sure it's in the right place. Invert the entire tube, turn it back up the right way and shake it up and down a couple of times before insertion. Place the bottom of the tube on the base plate of the frame and guide the heat pipe into the header port on the manifold. Ensure that you have pushed the heat pipe into its full depth before sliding the evacuated tube into place. Push the evacuated tube up into the manifold. If the heat pipe has been inserted properly, no clear glass should be visible. Do not twist the evacuated tube more than 45 degrees left or right. Secure the tube by using the metal clips. Clip them down one side at a time and work from one side of the frame to the other. If the installation home has a steeply pitched roof, we recommend installing and securing the tubes one at a time. Once all tubes are installed, ensure that they are neatly aligned. Using a clean cloth, wipe down each tube removing any dirty marks from the manifold, tubes and frame.